What's up peeps, it's your boy XE. welcome back to the channel. So on this episode of I Hate the Internet, Why Are People So Sensitive, is uh, Lil Nas X. Now if you don't know who Lil Nas X is, then bro, what are you doing? Are you living literally under a rug? If you are that small percentage of people that actually live under a boulder, then uh, I got you covered. Basically Lil Nas X is a very popular music artist slash rapper, and uh, you know what happens whenever you're super popular is you'll constantly have haters, right? But in Lil Nas's case, he actually did a pretty good job of, you know, keeping the hatred down and appealing to everybody. If you ask me. It seemed like everybody liked his first hit, Old Town Road, and I really don't see why people would be mad at him. Before we get into that, if you don't like and subscribe, then Lil Nas X will literally be under your bed. That's right, man. I don't think you want to wake up at 3 a.m. and have Lil Nas X seduce you like he seduced that devil in his new music video. I wouldn't want that to happen to any of you guys, so uh, just trust me, I don't make the rules. So what are people mad at Lil Nas X for? Well, very recently, he actually released a new song called Montero, and with that came a music video, and uh, this music video, uh, it, it, was, it was very very strange to say the least. Like, bro, this man actually just kissed himself. And personally, I think that was one thing that really, like, appealed to people about Lil Nas X because he could turn around and make a country song, you know, mix it with rap and hip-hop and actually make it work. Lil Nas X is unique and he could appeal to a lot of people, so what could have gone wrong? Why are people mad at him now? Well, of course, this new music video, as I mentioned, was kind of strange. It actually uh, includes him going down to hell and seducing the devil. So people are actually mad at him for him including hell and the devil in his music video and him, like, doing Doing stuff with the devil. I guess people thought he was trying to promote hell and make it seem like it was a good thing to go to hell. I mean, I can try and see where people have their issues and why people are genuinely mad at Lil Nas X, but I mean, I just have to think that it's it's not real. Like, why are people getting mad over this? But uh, apparently at the end of the music video, he actually steals the crown of the underworld, so I guess he becomes the devil or, or something like that. And I guess people will continue to stay mad because he's apparently the devil now because he stole the crown of the underworld. Like, dude, it's fake. Like, you don't have to get worked up over this. But yeah, everybody had their panties in a wad over that, and that has since passed. Nobody really cares about that anymore, but there's actually another thing that has surfaced that people are mad at Lil Nas X for. With the release of his song, Lil Nas X paired up with another company to make a modified pair of Nike shoes that would help him further promote his song. And of course, the 40-year-old moms on Twitter really didn't like these shoes just because they promoted the devil. I mean, I get if you're a religious person, but like, dude, you're really getting mad over a pair of freaking shoes. I mean, I could kind of see where they're coming from because they're called the Satan shoes. But bottom line, people are getting mad over a pair of shoes. Like, I just can't believe that. And low key, these shoes are actually kind of cool. Like, they look pretty cool. Personally, I wouldn't wear them just because I'd be out on the street and then somebody would come up to me and just like shame me for wearing Satan's shoes. I don't know, man. I don't really want to take that chance. But if the shoe had nothing to do with Satan, I probably would buy it. Like, it's actually a pretty cool looking pair of shoes. I mean, look at that. Not really a fan of the upside down star, but I mean, besides that, I'd probably hop on it. But yeah, I mean, as I mentioned earlier, people are actually mad at this pair of shoes like i just can't understand that apparently nike themselves are even mad at the shoe like that's just surprising so i didn't actually realize this at first but lil nas x didn't even pair up with nike to make the shoes he actually paired up with another company called mischief and mischief was the one who altered a few hundred pairs of the shoes and dropped them on their own so nike is actually suing mischief because of the bad reputation they've gotten because of these shoes it's a big misconception that nike actually made these shoes when it was mischief i mean heck before i even made this video i thought that the satan shoes were made by nike but another thing thing that I find really strange is that Mischief released another shoe with the Air Max 97 called the Jesus shoe and Nike didn't really care about that. I mean, of course I would expect them to care more when their reputation is going down because of the Satan shoe that they didn't even make. But when they say that they're suing because of the Nike logo on the side of the Satan shoes when Mischief literally did the same thing a few years ago just with the Jesus shoe is just kind of strange to me. So everybody seems to be mad at Lil Nas X now. I wonder how he's feeling. I mean, let's just take a look at his Twitter and uh, wow, this guy really does not not give a singular shit. This guy is a whole ass celebrity and he's just retweeting people's memes about this entire situation. I mean, take a look at this one. Call me when you want, call me when you need. Call me in the morning, I'll be on the way. I mean, this was like the same thing with the fit situation, if you guys remember that, where you can't really cancel somebody if they don't care. But yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end out the video. I know this was a bit of a shorter video, but I just couldn't really find much more to say about this subject. If you guys did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I also have a Discord and a Twitter, so if you wanna go check those out, link will be in the description. But hey, we also recently hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, which is honestly just a huge milestone for me, so thank you guys for the insane support recently. But yeah, Thank you all for watching today. I'll catch you all later. Peace.